Okay. Who's this? This is big, Mr. Whitetail. This is the bloke who blinded one of your excise. Come on. Come on. Come on. If you want the bread, you've got to come and get it. Yes, licking at me won't help. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know you want to eat it. Come on. Here you go. Come on. Come on. That's a boy. Come on. That's a boy. Yes, I knew you were brave enough. Yes. I knew you were brave enough. Okay, it's okay. See, there's your piece of bread. It's down there on the ground. You don't need to growl and snarl at me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I can feed Eric and I can feed you too. It's all right, he won't come and beat you up. No, he won't. He's full. Yes. You're here all the time. He's only here occasionally, so he got a really big feed today. Have you brought your girlfriend? Hmm? Who's that? Is that Felicity? Hmm? Is that Felicity or is that uh, Fruit Loop? If you are a good boy, that's okay, that's okay. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, we're after a sensitive. Little old bull swamp will be today, aren't we, eh? Are you feeling all insecure because Eric's come back? Is that it? Hmm? <clears throat> Did you think he'd gone away forever? Well, I was afraid of that, but he came back. Gonna hold it there while I go and get your biscuit? Pay really close attention. Eric is over there on the other side of the tree, just to the left of the gas bottle. Barely see his face. So he's keeping his distance. Want the biggie? Ooh, want a biggie? Come on, come on. Come on. Come and talk to me. No, he says, there's biscuit crumbs out here. And there's biscuit crumbs out there. And he's not being offered bread. He doesn't need to come and talk to me. I guess he jumps though. Right. Now the girlfriend's in on the act. And it is indeed Fruit Loop. Oh no. And we can't possibly come in and take it out of your hand, not when you're standing on the ground. Oh, munch, 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 munch. Mm. Come on. That's a good one. Come on. Come on. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. The cognitive dissonance. It's terrifying, isn't it? Come on. I'll sit down. 
Is that better? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. Come and get your biggie. Ooh. And you had your back turned so you didn't see it arrive. But you can smell it now, can't you? That's a girl. Come on. Do you want another one? No, he says. I can smell biscuit crumbs. I can smell biscuit crumbs. Meanwhile, she's on her second whole biscuit. But he has just found an entire biscuit. Haven't you, boss? Okay. Want another bicky? No, she says. I had bread and biscuits this morning for breakfast. This was just a lunchtime snack. There's wind in the treetops. Predators may be stalking me. I am not going to go so close to a human. I am old and wary. That's why I'm old. Pretty sure that's more or less what she's saying. Well, he's not going to take a biscuit either. <clears throat> the fuller their bellies are, the less inclined they are to come close. Which I guess proves that, you know, as some people say, it's really just cupboard love. But on the other hand, I didn't grow the wheat that made the flour that got baked into the biscuits. And if it was made with Australian wheat, then whoever it was who grew the wheat they were working land that would once upon a time otherwise have been available to the native wildlife in Australia to live on. So I figure that when I give free food to the wildlife, it's kind of paying the rent. You know, as a predominantly European extracted human living on Australia these days, I think somebody has to pay the rent to all of the species which have been displaced by the coming of the agroculturalists, the broadacre industrial agroculturalists. And this is failed farmland that I bought. It went out of production about 10 years before I bought it, maybe 20 years before I bought it, and I've given it a complete rest. So why shouldn't I share bread and biscuits with the critters? It just seems like the logical thing to do. Uh, 
Uh, somebody has to live on the landscape and be nice to the wildlife without trying to make a profit out of them. Around here, it seems to be my vocation. Isn't that about right? Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Ciao.